This is Apocalypse Radio for Tuesday, April 28th of 2020, uh, 6.20 in the p.m. This is Webisode 626. They're the good guys to know. Everyone agrees. So step up, good guys, and sign in, please. This is Apocalypse Radio for insert date here 2005. Dude, your intro is so 2005. Oh, it's 2008. Uh, 2020. Is it really? And now, here's your host, Charlie. Goddamn son of a bitch. And Shaman. Insufferable cock. And we are back. Hola, senores and señoritas. Charlie over here. And Shaman over here. And it's a birthday edition of the show tonight, <laughs> as uh, the shaman is celebrating a birthday yes. while in quarantine. While in quarantine. So, so is it true what those memes say about people who celebrate their birthday while they're in quarantine? What's that? All the ones that people look sad and down. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely, fucking lutely, man. That sucks. Yeah, it's it's horrible. It's, it's I know. It's I've had some crappy birthdays in my life, but uh, but I think the middle of quarantine. Might take the cake for crappiest birthday of all. Well, can't, you woke up this you know, morning and it just, it just kept going downhill from there. It just, it's just, it's been just. I could, I could sit and whine about it all day. I had plans. Barb gave me yeah. a big gift certificate for Amazon. Oh, nice. I, I was gonna go get this really cool Lego kit. Yeah. Aston Martin DB5, James Bond's car, big yeah. fucking, uh, big fucking Lego, and uh, I was gonna go over there and get it and load it up on the screen. There it was. 149 bucks, and I'm like, cool, man. Uh, I'm going to go take a shower and grab some coffee yeah, real yeah. quick. Came back down like 40 minutes later, went to hit refresh to uh, put it in the cart, and it was out of stock. And gone. Uh, so, damn. and it's a it's part of the creator series, so this yeah. may or may not ever come back in stock again. Odds are good uh. it won't. So, of course, I then immediately turned around and went, you know what, if I have to, I'll just go spend the extra money, and I'll go buy it over at lego.com. No, nope. Lego is out of stock. So they don't even have them in stock anymore. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm uh, yeah, a little irritable about that. And then to make matters worse, a little yeah. bit ago, I went, well, you know what, you know, consolation prize. I'll go get the Friends TV show uh, Lego kit because I think it's really cool and I'd love to have it just sitting on a shelf yeah, or something. Yeah. No, uh, out of stock, uh, don't look like you're going to get it back in. Jeez. It's been one shoot down after another today. Just like life in general. And I even held off drinking. I thought maybe if I just hold off on drinking, yeah. maybe my luck will change and things will go my way. No, I held off drinking. Finally, I guess it was about what time is it six twenty? Uh, I guess it was about four, about four o'clock. I went and I'm done practicing self restraint. Oh no! <laughs> Give me the bottle. I'm diving into it right now. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I actually left. Uh, this is kind of funny, but kind of sad. So. Yeah. I left this uh, bourbon group. This bourbon group. I mean, on Facebook. Mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, I joined a few over the past few days. Yeah. And one called Bourbon Nation. It's the big one that everybody's in. and Constant talk about bourbon and all that shit. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I should have known. My first clue should have been, I drink a lot of Kentucky Tavern. It's yeah. It's cheap. But I think it's a decent bourbon for the price, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I could go spend money on wild turkey, but the way I drink, what's the point in buying good bourbon the way I guzzle it? Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. you know, I buy not great <laughs> stuff, but I still think it's pretty decently okay. Well, my first clue should have been I saw some messages, messages in their, in their, uh, in their uh, page trashing Kentucky Tavern. I mean, really, like making fun of people that use it. Yeah. Shit, a fucking brick. Hold on. Oh. 
All right, we're back. Fucking car I mean, warranty you shit. Didn't, you didn't. You didn't record. I mean, that that would have been awesome. Have been I recording. should have. I should have left a recording. I mean, oh. better things sort of is, and then you know, I, we could have went back and edited out if it was something really important. But you know, that's we're trying to contact. I should have known. Warranty. I should have known it was a car warranty fucking call. I yeah. should have known. They Who always are. Fine? Exactly. Anybody that knows me doesn't call me. <laughs> exactly. They know I don't talk on the phone. Just text me. Text me. I mean, if I call you, it's on Skype. Exactly. Exactly. It's not even going to a three unless it's an emergency. If you see a phone call from me, you know it's an emergency. That's it's true. Very true. Very true. So, yeah. what? Uh, I, oh, yeah. So, I'm in this bourbon group. They're trash in Kentucky Tavern. I actually put up a message and said, guys, I'm just curious. I'm not trying to pick a fight here. I said, I'm just curious. What is the deal with Kentucky Tavern? Um, a lot of you seem to be trashing the hell out of it. I'm just curious. Can you tell me exactly why you consider it so unworthy of being drank? Yeah. And nothing. Suddenly, I got three likes on it, but still, yeah. nobody responded. And that should have been our first clue right there that's, yeah. dude, you're in the wrong place. You well, really, fucking stops. Yeah, you need to get the fuck out of here. Well, sure yeah. as shit, today, this morning, I get up, and I wasn't I wasn't super hungover this morning. I was pretty yeah. decent. Uh, so I get up, and I check the the, uh, the new Facebook updates, and I'm flying through, yeah. and, and there's one from Bourbon Nation, and it's some guy saying... Uh, he asked a simple question. He said, "So, question: How many people? Uh, wh- what does the average member drink in a week?" Yeah. Well, how much? How much of a bottle, or how many bottles do you drink a week? <laughs> and somebody, you know, they bat- battered back and forth. Oh, I drink about a half a bottle a week, and oh, I drink about you know. And these guys were talking about seven fifties, and you know, another guy is like, uh, you know, oh, I, I'll, I'll drink like. You know, one bottle once a month. Uh, I, I can make a bottle last a whole month. And, da, 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 da. and you know, first off, my reaction is, you're not drinking, son. You're just, you're fucking sniffing it. That's all it is. You're, <laughs> you're sniffing the fucking fumes. You call the rest yourself of, a drinker. Exactly. And the rest of it's evaporating. Fuck you and your superior yeah. fucking yeah. drinking skills. So, uh, yeah, one. but the, the, the one that kicked it over for me was, like, the guy in the that asked the message initially said he drank about... Almost one bottle a week. And okay. two or three people came in at wow. various points. Alcohol. And, no, they said, they said, buddy, if you're drinking that much, you've got a problem. Oh, shit. And I went, oh, my God, a bottle a week is a problem? Yeah. What is 1.75 liters a week? <laughs> what the what the hell the fuck would you look at me? I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know, it's, a, it's that classic, I don't consider myself an alcoholic thing, I just consider myself a massive drinker. Maybe, yeah. I, maybe I should try one maybe of these Maybe there's a problem, but, Maybe, you know. but I'm okay with it. Yeah. Maybe right. there is a problem, but I'm completely content with it. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, yeah. I drink, I, I drink, it's what I do. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that, that was the moment where I just went, fuck y'all, man. Yeah, y'all a bunch, bunch of, of snobby. Snobs. Snobby, I got to spend $75 on a bottle of bourbon for it to be good. You know, no drinking motherfuckers. Shit. Yeah, exactly. Fuck y'all. I'm out of here. Dropped it immediately. I went on a pruning thing today. I, every time every time another group, Chihuahua Chatter. It's a little group I'm in. It's all about Chihuahuas. And I love Chihuahuas. And yeah. it's a great little group to be in because you see the cutest oh, yeah. little dogs. But I, yeah. got, I got so tired of looking at other people's dogs that I just went, you know what? Snooze for 30 days. I don't want to see anymore. I don't want to see your message bases. I don't want to see your dogs. I already got a dog, and mine's cuter than yours, so fuck you. I don't need to see your ratty little dogs. Thanks anyway. (laughs) So you've just been pleasant. I have been just a mean motherfucker today. I have joy to be around. I I have just been knocking people back going, no, don't want to hear from you anymore. No. (laughs) Thank you, baby. Barb got me a bottle of 46. Well, that's nice. Yeah, 46 is good. I love it. I truly love 46. What would you yeah. get? Oh, what is that? That peach? That goddamn, what is it? Crown Royal peach? Fucking Crown Royal peach, man. We got She's some. a big fan of that. You like that? Well, I have no idea. I've never tried it. Neither have I. And another friend of ours, uh, Laura, uh, she uh, worked with Terry for many years. Yeah. And it's her birthday today, too. And uh, she keeps wanting about the Crown Royal peach. So... I went out tonight, picked up stuff, uh, you know, for uh, possibly a happy hour with her later on tonight. So there you go. 
Very so good. Terry and I'll like to do a do a thing with her later on tonight, and we'll we'll try the Crown Royal Peach. Terry's got some you know tea going on right now, making some tea. Do you, do you and, make uh, do you mix it with tea or something? Uh, she says it's great with tea. We, okay, okay. Yeah, and the way I make tea, I don't make you know completely full southern blown give you diabetes diabetes uh, tea, right? Sweet tea. Yeah. It's like half sweet, half regular. Okay. So it actually comes out pretty good. Uh, I don't do as much as I used to, just yeah. because I, I use the Mio tea and just pour my water. Right. I would, you know, I'm like, ah, it's good enough. Now I have to make it. Because yeah. I was going through a shit. I was going through a gallon of tea like every uh, almost day and a half. It's easy to go through if you got it around. Yeah, it yeah. really is. Yeah. Now we go just get annoyed. Like, ah, shit. All right. <clears throat> yeah, makes more tea. So. But uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, my day, I went to work, came home. There you go. Good okay. times. Exciting. Yep. And I uh, get to listen to my neighbor and her kid. Go, Meow. Fucking nice. I guess I'm going to open and, this. And there's an angry little dog in the background. An angry dog. Yeah. Dog means Let's see here. I'm going to slide him some Benadryl later on. Yeah, here <laughs> you go. It's a little Benadryl. Take care of him real fast. So exactly. anybody who is curious, if you've never had it, um... <laughs> Maker's Mark 46 is really good. Yeah. It's, uh, what is it, 92 proof? It, uh, oh, it smells so good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's almost a shame to waste it on an old drunk like me. God. I do love 46. Not, it's, it's not super expensive either. It's not super yeah, expensive. Yeah. It's, it's actually somewhat reasonably priced. I think, I think a 750 is like, I think it's like 35, 40 bucks. Yeah. It's not outrageous, but it is really, uh, it is really smooth. It is, a, it is okay. a very smooth bourbon. Very smooth bourbon. And I'll have to have, like a matter of fact, I'll have a shot of it right now. And then I'll, I'll put the rest of it away. This is one of those This is one of those bottles that I won't guzzle. I'll put it up on the shelf and have a shot, you know, every couple of days or maybe once a week. Something like that. <clears throat> Drown the rest of my sorrows in my fucking oh, yeah. uh, Kentucky Tavern. By God. I hear you, dude. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think what else is going on here. Ah, uh, uh, you know. Whew. I hooked up a Terry a new computer, and uh, that's been our, our dazzling week so far. Nice. So, but it's uh, running, and you got it going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it going. It's the old computer I kind of took out of a. Uh, you know, I pulled that thing apart, and I open up the case. I'm like, holy shit! There's a ton of memory spots in here. Really? Oh yeah. I should have took a picture of it for you, dude. Damn, how much memory I can put in here? What's it got? Uh, I think it's like that's maybe four or six in there right now. Okay. But uh, I know it's like one, two, three. There was like four or five slots. In there. I stopped to open it up, take a picture of where you can see it, and go, okay, here's what you can do. Cool. Because I'll probably be using it for a little while longer, since uh, yeah, it's not gonna get that going for Terry. So right. And then um. Pretty much, that's it. Uh, just been hanging out and waiting for life to do something. <laughs> There's nothing for it to do. Quarantine I mean, they, forever, man. Yeah, I mean, they're opening up. Uh, the beaches have now pretty much fully opened back up. Now, we all have to still practice social distancing and all that other stuff. It's not, you know, hey, that's, a big mountain party. That's you know, what people will. Yeah, well, for the most part, everybody did. Did they? You know, I mean, there was like one group of uh, 20 somethings. That uh, gather around a big group, right? And the uh, police came by and broke them up. Good. So that was good. Fucking and um, let's say for the most part it was okay, but they opened up Myrtle Beach now. And then we got word today it looks like they're going to start opening up the hotels again. Now, oh. not fully, not fully. Yeah. Uh, I think they're uh, haven't seen the full plan yet, but it's like they're opening up for May first through the fifteenth, fifteen percent capacity. Fifteen. Yeah. Holy shit. And then and I think they go to like 25 or 30 by the end of May. I'm almost surprised um, they didn't start out at 25 or 30. And then, like, I think they were looking at probably uh, end of June, I'm guessing. They're looking for possibly restrictions to be pulled. We'll see. Huh. Really, it's, I guess it depends on how it goes and what goes up. Now, here's the kicker on all this. Yeah. Let's say we got vacationers down here, and they're coming back, and they're doing their thing again. Um the chances of we'll see a bunch of cases jump up down here yep. are slim. You think so? Because, well, here's why. If you get it, it gets reported back to your home state. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. It doesn't report to here. Oh, I didn't know that. No, it goes back to the state you're from. 
Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, there's so many effed up things on the numbers. We really jump in and find out what's going on. Right. Because, like, a friend of mine uh, up in Kentucky, uh, I think, pretty much had it and got through it. And um, since he, they thought he had it, they, they thought, you know, even the doctors thought he had it. Uh, they had him come in to, to get some plasma. And so they swabbed him, shoved that thing right up his nose, all the way back to his brain. Oh, God. And, uh, and, and drew some plasma from him. And the thing is, you know, as well as I do, if it shows that he had it, it will be a newly confirmed case, even though he's already over it. True. Yeah. You know, so it's like, you're like, okay, well, that. Mm. I don't have a problem new, with that, though. I don't have a problem with it, but the thing is, they don't tell you how many people are actually currently infected. Well, there's almost, well, besides besides hospitalizations, there really is almost no way to, to tell everybody that currently is going through it right now. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like of the ones we've tested and got confirmation on, yeah. how many of them are still currently infected? Yeah. And that would be a nice number to know because you see numbers going up, but you don't see. Yes, we have one million. We just crossed one million infected. Uh, Nine hundred thousand of those have already been passed up. Well, no, they do. If you look at the uh, no, you have to go. You have to go digging for it. Yeah, well, if you go to COVID, it's not their front and center. Yeah, if you go to COVID, it's. I mean, it's right up there. Well, no, even then, no, 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 no. They, well, no, that's worldwide, but there are a lot of states aren't reporting that. It's not showing. If you go into the state area, it doesn't show oh, really? how many have recorded. You know, there's a bunch of states. Oh, that have, you I know, see. You're right. Look, 4,000. Zero recovered. What? You're Fuck right. you. You're absolutely right. There are a bunch of them not reporting. Yeah. As a matter sure. of fact, where are you getting that total? Uh-huh. Because actually nobody, they all say unknown on recovered, but they have a total under yeah, some somebody must have got into his ass about something or, or shut shut down some of the information he was pulling from. I wonder because his site doesn't update quite nearly the way it did before. Interesting, you know, because uh, there's been days I've noticed that uh, what does it say South Carolina has right now? South Carolina has North Carolina, South Carolina. Uh, wow, they've reported the numbers because they're still at 5,498 confirmed, no changes yeah. today. Critical unknown, deceased 174, changes today in deceased unknown, recovered yeah. unknown, active cases 5,325. Yeah. So actually, you could you could extrapolate from that so that maybe a hundred, hundred seventy. We're fifty seven hundred now. Okay. And we had a hundred and twenty today, new uh, cases that were confirmed. How many deaths? Uh, I think we're still under. We may we're 211 now. Okay. Which still isn't, you know. No, it's not. People get mad at me like, that's not bad. It's so, not horrible. Yeah, it's not no, horrible. No. New York is your hot spot, man. Oh, yeah. New York is the hot spot. Yes, it is. <clears throat> They've lost 22,000 so far. Yeah. Which is amazing. They account for over a third of, uh, In fact, of yeah. the, well, the deceased. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They they yeah. account for about about a little less than a third of the total confirmed cases. Total yeah. confirms one million. They're they're two hundred ninety seven. So just under thirty percent. Yeah, is where yeah. they're sitting. Yeah, they definitely have more of the deaths though. Well, there's more people. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a city that's you know uh, as big as Sweden. True, very true. That's just bigger. It, it's like I think Sweden's like um, ten million people, and New York City is about <clears throat> nine. I think. It's yeah, some crazy number. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. That so, in perspective, that's what I was trying to tell me today. Like, well, you can't look at Sweden because the death numbers were really good. It's pretty much about it. Who's calling me? But I'm going to listen. No, but yeah, you would just be yeah, basically it's like uh, they were talking about the Sweden stuff. I've been following that a little bit. Right. Just how they did it, and it seems like they're getting through it right now. But uh, so we usually let people die. I'm like, well, dude, you notice we've been doing this; people are still dying. True. We haven't stopped it. True. You know, and the percentages are just about like it was if you just let anybody else go out there and do it. You know, I mean, which is that, that's the weird, that's the whole bizarre thing with this thing is we don't know what would have happened if we did, you know, just social distancing and didn't lock it right down. And we, we never don't will. Know. We will never. We'll never know. know. Yeah. Never know. So the argument will continue on until the end of time. But like, oh, yeah. Well, if we've done this. Right. You know, Neither side is right, technically. Yep. And yeah. It'll just go on like that forever. You're right. Yep. 
You're yep. absolutely so, right. So fuck it, I ain't worried about it. <laughs> I'm worried about it. That's why I ain't leaving I know, the house. I know. Well, no, I'm worried about that part of it, but it's like I'm not going to sit here and debate over what we should or shouldn't do. No, I don't blame you. Because nobody's ever going to be right 100% of this whole thing. So yeah. it's okay. No, we do. Yeah, I just want some uh, movies to talk about. I think the studios are being chicken shit, selfish bastards. Holding on to everything? Yeah, holding on. Oh, we're going to hold back. <laughs> At least something decent. Not fucking trolls, too. <laughs> I don't Come think on, you're man. See, I don't think you're going to see anything big come out. Uh, oh, not till November. No, no. I mean, I mean, I don't think any of the companies are going to dump anything, uh, anything else interesting onto uh, advanced digital release. Oh, One no. movie. One movie is coming out. That I had an interest in seeing in a theater. I wouldn't have gone. But I had an interest in seeing it in a theater. And it's apparently getting dumped to Disney Plus sometime yeah. in the next six months. Which is um, Artemis Fowl. Which Artemis is, Fowl. Artemis Fowl. It's kind of like another Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all something like that. Spy kid kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's apparently a young adult series. Okay. But I've heard really good things about it, and I was like, "Yeah, I think I might what, actually look." What, to is, see what is your wife sending us? I don't. I think she's sending us a Zoom meeting. Shit. Okay. Just ignore it. Just ignore no, it. come on. Let's let's, let's, no. let's see what it is. No, it's no, gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna, no, because no, the computer is. will no, try to use computer audio. Well, that, 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 that's fine. That's It'll fine. take it away from the show. Well, then pause the show for a minute. Okay. Click on the fucking link. Hold on. And, and we are back for uh, our extended <laughs> break there. We, this, this is what three days later. We, yeah. we left off on Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night was where we where we stopped the show. And the last thing you heard was us talking about um, the wife. The wife had sent a, a, a Facebook message to both of us. Yes, and he's like, "Oh, ignore it, ignore it, whatever. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Don't worry about it." And I'm like, "No, no, no. You, we, I think we should check this out. Come on, just stop the show." That's where we stopped the show. Went over there, and it was a surprise Zoom birthday party. Yes, it was a surprise Zoom birthday. You had party. no clue. Charlie and Barb put it together. Well, Barb put it together. I just helped. Okay, Barb I helped put it with occupying your ass. I sent out some invitations and helped occupying your ass. Kept me busy. <laughs> she was so worried about you. She kept texting me. What'd she say? It's like he is so upset today, and he's just <laughs> awful. I'm just, I'm just scared to death. He's going to start drinking, he's and by a... the time this rolls around, he's not going to remember <laughs> it. Not just you know. <laughs> Well, here's like, the, all right, I'll get him going. Here's the funny part. Um, you were there till the end because I watched the video afterwards. Yeah. You yeah. were there till the end. I uh, I don't want to say I passed out, but you were I, close. I came you were close. Zoned out. Yeah, I was zoned out. I came close to passing out uh, right about sometime between 8 and 8.30. I completely zoned out at that point and yeah. was concentrating – who was it? Somebody, I think it was, I think it was Jaron or somebody was asking me. They said, you kept looking up to your left, man. Yeah. And you were, you were doing, the show. yeah, exactly. You were doing something. What was it, man? I was like, I was trying to save the show. I said, cause me and Charlie did a show and we got a half an hour through it and I had to fucking save it, but I was afraid oh, yeah. if I left it up there, the computer would crash. So I had to save it and I was too drunk. To function at that point. Yeah. And I, I wasn't, I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to save it well. Turns out I did save it. I saved it under a totally non understandable name. <laughs> and I saved it in the wrong directory. Yeah. But I did indeed save it. Yeah. So I, I at least got that far. But yeah, yeah, by that point, I guess it was between 8 and 8.30. At that point, I began to, uh, lose consciousness and i ducked out i was like i gotta go i'm off this call and, and i i signed off and uh and like i say we watched i think it was wednesday night tuesday night wednesday night wednesday, wednesday. night me and barb watched the zoom yeah because she recorded it god love her we watched the zoom of the call and i remembered it up until a certain point yeah there was a certain point and it was about it wasn't too bad. It was about 20 minutes before the call ended. I remembered yeah. everything up until that point. Yeah. But it was about at the 20 minute before the end mark where I went, I don't remember this now. I don't remember well, this at all. You have, they made you do so many shots at the beginning. Oh, my God. 
I mean, I, I want to say you did like four within like, you know, 10 minutes. I did. In 15 minutes. I did. I started off with four. Yeah. Yeah. And then it kind of slowed down from there, but still the four, four did their damage in about a half hour. Oh, they did their damage <clears throat> hard. Yeah. 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 And for anybody wondering, you know, when we did the show last week and we started talking about his birthday, I'm like, oh, we should do a podcast. That was all part of the plan. Yes. To keep you, <laughs> to keep you from having to drink way too early. Right. His barb had hit me up and she was, find some way of keeping him occupied. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was an ex- it was an exceptionally shitty day all around. Yeah, and we had talked about that earlier on the on the first half of the show where right. uh, you didn't get the James Bond Lego set and uh, how just basically your day went downhill from that. Side note. Yeah. The next morning. Yeah. Wednesday morning, I logged in just to check. Yeah. And guess what was available and in stock again? Oh, was it? It was. The friend set or the James Bond set? The James Bond set. Did you get it? Yes, I did. Oh, there you go. It should be here Monday. I'm hoping right. for a Saturday or Sunday delivery, but at least it says it should be here by at least Monday. Yeah. So I figure there's at least a good five to six hours that I'll be occupied there and, you go. and concentrating on something other than drinking and smoking. And looking at the news. <laughs> and looking at the news, exactly. And looking at the news, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. That that <clears throat> that part of it did end up working out. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Something ended up turning out right. They still never did get the friend set back in. Yeah. So I kind of gave up on that one, but that's okay. I don't. James, you know. that, that was a, that was that was a um, uh, what, what do you call it? Consolation prize. Exactly. It was a consolation prize. James Bond was the main prize. Now, did you know? I did not know this. I think I knew this at one point. But I did yeah. not remember it until I saw it. Did you know there was a Big Bang Theory Lego set? No. There was a Big Bang Th- Theory Lego set. Apparently, it goes for like 150 to 170 now. Oh, wow. Which means I wish the fuck had gotten my hands on it. Because <laughs> I think it was originally like a $50, $60 set like the Friends set is. And I would love to have got my hands on it just for the sheer turnaround and resaleability of it, but uh, but I never did. I, I think because I never knew it existed. But it's a really cool set if you're into the Big Bang Theory, which, as we yeah. all know, for the first five or six seasons I was really into, the last three or four seasons I just basically hate watched it. So, yeah. <laughs> but I still would have liked to have gotten my hands on it. But yeah. Uh, and I, I'm still going to try to get my hands on a friend set, just once again for the sheer resaleability factor. Later, I'm betting it will become very valuable at a later point. Same with the James Bond Aston Martin DB5, though I've already decided. I'm looking up to my right here, right now. There are two lava lamps sitting here that have not been powered <laughs> up for years. Yeah, I think I'm going to clear this shelf space. And store the Aston Martin DB5 there. There you go. Just so I can look up at it and see and see it at all times. Uh, <laughs> that would be nice. I would enjoy that. But yes, it was a very wonderful. Um, it was a very wonderful birthday Zoom with all of my favorite people and all of my friends. Yeah. Um, I mean, everybody from iHeart Lexington, iHeart Louisville. Clear Channel, Georgetown, uh, everybody showed up. Oldies. Yeah, Oldies, Oldies 103. Yeah. You know, all my favorite people. 90, <laughs> it was funny, 95% of them were radio people. Hell, fuck. Oh, yeah. I think 100% of them were radio people. Uh, yeah. Or they married. Were all, to, what's that? Or married to radio people or related to radio people. Exactly, exactly. They were all my favorite radio people. <laughs> yeah. And I felt bad because I posted that big thank you to everybody for showing yeah. up. And then I had like I had like seven or eight friends who were like, well, I wasn't invited. Thanks anyway. Yeah. And I was like, well. I, well, you I, never I, know who to, to, to invite. Exactly. You never know. You never know. Yeah. You know, my, that, that especially with you. Does he like him right now or not? Exactly. You don't know. You don't know. I, mean, I didn't think about Deke till later on. Yeah. Like, sure, I should have got Deke in. Mm. 
Barb said she tried to get Deke in. Barb said that Deke was going to show up, but Deke never did. Oh, okay. And he actually sent an apology later. Oh, he sent an go. apology later saying, uh, "I would have showed up, but with five kids, and he's got five kids." Oh. He said, "With five kids during this whole uh, quarantine thing, he said it's really hard to wrangle anything like that." And I'm like, "Well, I don't yeah. blame you. You know, I don't yeah. hold it against you that you didn't, you weren't able to show up." So uh, that's cool. Um, Terry didn't show up. No. Barb was kind of surprised at that. Uh, nah, you know, I. He's I, a busy man. No, I don't. But I, 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 yeah, I got my own thoughts on that one. But. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so, like, hey, 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 but then. Nah. I'm trying to think. There was somebody else that didn't show up that she wanted to. Uh, I don't remember who it was. There, but there were a few. There were three or four people that she was like, yeah. I can't believe they didn't show up. You know, it's just a call. Why didn't they just pop in? And I'm like, I don't know. You know. And there were a couple of people in the call who showed up. We won't name names, but there were a couple of people in the call who showed up that showed up for literally like five minutes, didn't say a word, just yeah. showed up on screen, showed their faces, smiled a couple of times, and then boom, disappeared. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, like, a lot of us were talking and, you know. I was going to say, there was a lot of talking, a lot of crosstalk going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, that's the hard part with those Zoom things is because – Everybody can get to talking, and it overwhelms everybody. So Exactly. And we had, at one point, I counted 22 people and four yeah. dogs. <laughs> there were 22 people and four dogs in on the screen yeah. in the calls. And I was like, you know what? I don't see how these people, you know, some of these people will talk about all these massive calls they do. And I go, how do you keep track of it? Because, oh yeah, you know, the, granted, it, it, it gave control sound-wise to whoever was making the most noise at the time, but even still, you're like, you know, fuck, I got all these people talking at once over top of each other. You know, how, right. how in the fuck do you keep track of all this shit? So, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it get, it it got kind of difficult. Yeah, and Dwight lost his uh, internet connection. Yeah, Dwight lost his internet. Because he, he shot me a screenshot of of, um, of his Firefox uh, uh, dinosaur going, oops, <laughs> you've lost connection. There you go. Mm-hmm. I started making fun of him. Like I thought you you had advanced more in your technological savvy. Ah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then, was, uh, overall, then Rocky. Uh, I just hit him up at the last second. Cause, oh man, I see Rocky in here. And I saw he was on. I'm like, hey man, check this out. Because I, I, you know, thought that that you, you'd enjoy Rocky. Oh yeah. And uh, and so he popped in. <laughs> he hung around for a while. Oh yeah, yeah, he hung around. Yeah, Mickey bit. was on camera and everything else. Yeah. Had yeah. the dog on, or cat, cat. Had the cat on camera. Cat, yep. He had the cat, and uh, that was fun. I hadn't seen Rocky in so long, you know. I oh, know. Uh, yeah, I loved, I loved seeing everybody. It was, yeah. it was, it was very overwhelming. It was, uh, it was quite, quite exciting, and I loved seeing everybody. And it definitely did. After a shitty day overall, it definitely yeah. did make the day a whole fuckload better. Yeah. But on After, the other hand. Yeah. I woke up with literally, I think it was genuinely the single worst hangover I've ever had. Yeah. Barb made comment and said to me the next morning, she said, I don't think I've ever seen you that drunk. Yeah. I was like, really? You've been married to me for 30 years. She goes, no, I don't think I've ever seen you that drunk. She said, you stood over the dresser trying to use your breather she said for 20 minutes she said i left the room the next thing i know i came back i found you naked in front of the mirror with your head slammed into the mirror with a toothbrush hanging out of your mouth just standing there oh that's hilarious i was like really she was like yes she wow said you were just standing there with your head in the mirror with a toothbrush hanging out of your mouth naked and i'm like okay first off that's a horrible fucking image because I've seen myself naked, and it is not a pretty sight. It is not a pretty sight at all. But with a toothbrush hanging out of my mouth and not actually doing anything, that's just kind of weird, man. That's just kind of weird. But, yeah, she said that's how she found me. She said uh, she said she, she slowly maneuvered me back to bed and got me into bed with the covers over me and uh, said I snored like a motherfucker all night long. <laughs> Or you did. Oh, I'm sure I did. Oh, I'm sure. I didn't wake up the next morning. Matter of fact, I woke up the next morning about 8.30. Didn't 
get out of bed, stayed in bed till about 9.30, got up, had three or four cigarettes, had three cups of coffee. She had gone to work by that point to do some yeah. stuff. And I did something I never, ever, ever do. I crawled back into bed. <laughs> I guess it was about 11 o'clock. In the morning, and I crawled right back into bed, laid my head down, put on my sleep mask to make everything black, and fell back asleep for at least, I think it was a good 90 minutes to two hours. I just said, fuck it, and went right back to sleep. And, uh, and then eventually got back up. Yeah. So, yeah, all right. It was an ugly morning. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we're about to wrap up the show here. Yep. As we will pick back up on Sunday with a new show. Yeah. So uh, you all enjoy. What'd she say? I just want to know if you had, if you had fun the other night. Yes, he did. Oh, I had a blast. I had a blast. Yeah, so can we do another we'll, one? She wants to do, no, we can do another one. He can't do another one. Oh, we're gonna do another I one. Think, I don't no. think you'll survive another one. Oh no, we're gonna do another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're doing another one. Oh yeah. So. After all right. it's, especially with Jill. Jill was Jill was all up oh, in yeah, the Oh yeah, she was all up in yeah. Yeah, she was all up in the we gotta do this again and uh oh, yeah. and blah blah blah. So yeah, I, oh yeah. Actually Schneider and I talked about we should do a uh, daily virtual smoke break. Oh, like we be... used to do back in the day, about nine thirty in the morning or whatever. Right. And we used to all you know, basically jump in at the same time, go over the bullshit we used to talk about and uh just be up for fifteen, twenty minutes or whatever until one of us has to start working. And uh, he was all for it, so he said he could do it a few days a week. So I said, we'll, we'll, I'll talk to you, and we'll see if he can't lie. I'm so all for it. I'm all for it. Virtual smoke break every day. Fuck yeah. So, but uh, so we're gonna wrap things up, and we will reconvene on Sunday. And uh, you have yourselves a good one until then. And uh, don't forget, if you'd like to donate to the show, you can with the uh, PayPal donation link in the uh, show description. Also on the website as well. Leave us a rating over on uh, the iTunes store, wherever else you get podcasts. And we will talk to you later. Later. If you'd like to send an email, email to charlie at apocalypseradio.com or shaman at apocalypseradio.com. To subscribe, use the links at apocalypseradio.com or search for us on iTunes. Dave's rolling, man. Make some noise. Live from the intersection of beer and bongs. Okay, tape's rolling. On that lonely old highway we call the World Wide Web. Oh, dude, start over. Making sure the net never gets predictable. (laughs) It's... I'll mollify it with some sound. Apocalypse Radio. Well, there you have it, folks. Another happy ending from the good people at Jimmy James Incorporated. Good night, Herr Doctor. Good night, Frau Blucher. Galactus, Galactus, the devourer of worlds. What? Are you recording? That was mean.